Now there are a few more settings on this final step for the integration page. You see we've got our Shop Boss account and our QuickBooks account all set up. We want to decide what is our income account for these invoices that are coming from the um, from the repair orders in Shop Boss, and, and so we can really pick what, whichever income account that we already want to use. And a few options here for you guys that are about your preferences. Uh, we know that some shops have zero dollar repair orders that come through as a record keeping mechanism, and some people want to see those zero dollar repair orders in their QuickBooks. Um, as there's no money tied to them and they're not a, uh, associated with accounting per se, that's off by default and our recommendation is to leave that off. So we'll filter out any zero dollar repair orders. Um, but if, you, if your uh, company does run that way and that's something you're interested in, you can go ahead and just select that checkbox and then they will be included. The second part here is to use shop boss taxes. And this one is super important because what we do with this integration is we use shop boss taxes because those are the, the most precise and, and best resource for tax information on these repair orders and part sales. If you, even if you, uh, if you click and you say you don't want to use shop boss taxes, that's what, uh, what that means is that you're using the QuickBooks calculated taxes and QuickBooks taxes in our experience can be anywhere from one penny to five cents off from the true value in shop boss. So to make sure that we get those taxes perfect, we want to make sure that we use shop boss taxes, but if you've got advanced accounting going on and you've got an accountant who really knows what they're doing and wants you to use the QuickBooks taxes, that option is available to you as well. So we're going to leave both of these as the default settings and start the sync. Now at this point, uh, what you'll see is a billing pop-up asking for any billing information. It didn't pop up here because we've got a developer account, but uh, it, when you do see it, just go ahead and enter in that billing information for the uh, $25 per month subscription. And just like that, you'll have your workflows running nice and easily in API Nation. Uh, so thank you guys. And remember, if you ever need any help, please reach out to us at support at API We love doing this stuff. We're always here to help. <laughs>